let's yeah. talk about this K-Swiss deal. Correct. Because from for uh, outside looking in, we hear yeah. Greg Lutzka got this K-Swiss deal. It's a million dollar deal, man. He's killing it over there like yeah. he's a million dollars. <laughs> it was like, bigger than a million. <laughs> 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 that's what we it was, heard. It was yeah. a couple we million. We heard it was a million. One, yeah. So it's we a couple million. Yeah, yeah. We weren't even it was gonna. It was going to be, um, yeah, like, how do I go into this? Okay, so like, <laughs> well, let's talk. Let's start with how you. Case uh, do you want, to, to, and you want me to glow. tell the real story? Yeah. No, uh, tell I'm, the I'm, fake I'm gonna, story. I'm gonna, I'm, gonna <laughs> I'm gonna break it off for you. All right, I was working with Todd Hahn, yeah. and and that's your manager I, guy. That's who yeah. was kind of managing my stuff at the time. Okay. I put together the deal with K Swiss, right? You were, so you because, were already because, on Globe no, still, or not, you were no, off no. Globe? Okay, I was I was hanging out with Tall Cooperman, Benji Madden, and Joel Madden. They did a collab called DCMA with k swiss so i met david nichols and the guys from from k swiss at the same time globe was like all right like we're gonna cut your pay because i think just the industry and just like you know things were changing they had dropped mackinall they fernandez i think got dropped too there's a lot of guys that got dropped from globe straight up like gone like nothing so like for me it was like you're getting half your pay cut but at least i was still there maybe yeah. the writing was on the wall like oh but, this might not be but a uh at least i was still there because sure. i seen galil get booted i seen mcnall chad fernandez um my case like list was going on sure. I, I, you know what i mean so um they kept me but they wanted to cut my pay so i was like oh that's kind of weird whatever we got a contract but who cares about a contract in skateboarding because that's just kind of like it doesn't even matter but but anyway so um at this time uh Todd had went back to um, Gary Valentine where Rick Globe was like, hey, if we got another deal for him, would you let him out his agreement? They said, yeah, we'll let him out. At that time, they were probably thinking like, he doesn't have an our deal. At the time, I was like, we, where would you we, have gone? We, we, yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. But, <laughs> they were thinking that way. Like, where is he going to go? Yeah, where is he going to go back then? But, but yeah, that's how they were thinking. Sure. And, and and me too a little bit, but me and David from K-Swiss really had a good conversation about they're like, we really want to get into skating, right? And the Maloof Money Cup was just kind of hitting there. The Dew Tour was coming out. Uh, at that time, Nike was definitely in the in the like the mix of everything. Right. I think Puma and some of the other brands that they look as their competitors, right? Like mm -hmm. K Swiss is in the mainstream big box stores next to Nike, Puma, Adidas, these mm -hmm. other brands. They're on the wall. Yeah, they're on the wall. So they're like, man, let's get in skateboard. I was like, oh, perfect time. I got I can get lot out of my contract. I look at Todd, I go, what do we do? Because I put this deal together to make it happen, but I wasn't going to negotiate it. And and I was like, I'll just let you kind of run with it. He's like, I'm going to go in and um, 50X your last deal. I go, what? He goes, yeah. You're like, wait a minute, 8,000? Yeah, I go, I go, <laughs> I go, I, get my calculator I go, I go well, we don't have another backup plan. So don't mess, don't, don't mess this up, Todd. He's like, no, no, they got the money. They pay, they pay, you know, at the time it was, um, they had some huge tennis, tennis players. players. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. Uh, what's his name? Um, he's a, a, uh, a Sampras, maybe Pete Sampras. But no, no, the guy from the movies too. Um, he's, he, he was like a spokesperson for Kenny Powers. Oh, Kenny. Oh. Kenny Powers. They, okay. and, and, they and Anna, Anna Kova was making like mm. seriously like 1.5, probably more than that, like yeah. 3 million a year. Okay, okay. So he's like, dude, you're going to get a five year, cash. you're going to get a five year deal with a five year extension and we're going to go in hot. And I was like, that's what he was going to go in and ask for. Uh, well, we wanted to make sure because we were like, well, we can't just do a two year deal with this brand. Like it, number one, case was wasn't established in skateboarding yet. No. So like, our my plan was like all right let's get in there and then let's build a team mm -hmm. and we we're going to bring in Alfonso Rawls by the way he he Ooh. he was one that was going to start designing the shoes mm, for us oh, okay. wow so like that yeah yeah dope. and then we were we were going to bring in Chaz Ortiz there was that we had a big plan to bring in a lot of different skateboards and there were skateboards coming out the woodwork hitting me up to to, to ride for case <laughs> oh, sure yeah. 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 that million dollar deal i would have called you too man <laughs> Here, here's the shoe okay, so, so this is the shoe that never came that out that never came out right um so so wait, you went in there with a plan. You told them, "Hey, this is our plan." Well, I just to, wanted to get K Swiss on the map. Well, I wanted to make it cool, sure. right? Because K Swiss wasn't that cool back then. Yeah. Right? It wasn't Let's just cool in skating. It wasn't no, cool in skateboard. Yeah, oh no, no, yeah, K Swiss yeah. is a cool brand, but not yeah, in skating. Right, right, yeah. skating yeah. So then we kind of rebranded. We did this like KS. If you guys can see, it, it's like a okay. KS with a yep, shield. I see that. So K -Swiss. yeah, it's, but it's KS, not yeah. K Swiss. But um, oh, so they wanted to rebrand it for the skate. Just like a division, kind of like you SB. SB. There you go. So um. At the time, we were building the shoe. I brought in the old globe designer that designed my globe shoe, right? Um, to, to to design this shoe, and that's why it looks like a skate shoe, and it's a really good shoe, to be honest. I mean, it looks like I skated in, like, it like I, like a I, I won shoe, the Maloof sure. Money Cup in it. Like it's a great shoe. So when like, you're designing this, so you're already on. It's this a great is, shoe. You said you signed a two million dollar five no, year it contract. No, it was more than two million. <laughs> I said a couple of million. 
It was a, it, yeah. a, couple, <laughs> was a, a couple means two. Oh, yeah, few, few million, few million, a few, few million. million. There you go. There you go. But anyway, so it was a over the over five years. We had a, a minimum, you know, like a like I talked about minimum sure, sure, sure. eight thousand dollars a month minimum. Okay. So we had a, a minimum. Um, and there was a five-year deal with a five-year extension, meaning if guaranteed five years, okay. if the program is doing good, we automatically five-year. Yep. So I was looking long-term, building a, a program, bringing a good shoe designer, bringing a good team, actually building like a legit program, kind of like what SB did, right? I mean, it's a, not a bad um, shoe, man. It looks like a good shoe. Uh, so I, wait, wait, they gave you the reins to do so. They gave yeah, you like the- Yeah, I mean, they wanted to get in skating. At the time, I'm like, you know, coming out with all these video parts, winning the do tours, Maloof, X Games, all this stuff. Um, I got along with David really well, went up to the headquarters and just like, let's do it, man. Like I, at the time I was kind of burnt on Globe anyways, you know what I mean? Like I wasn't like, I had already filmed my video part with them and they wanted to cut my pay right after. And um, here, here's- This is your welcome, uh, can you join K-Swiss video. That was like the day that, my first time actually going to the office, we filmed that. Oh, wow. <laughs> It's kind of cool. Look at there's the, there's the uh, necklace too. The, yeah. Oh, you got the necklace. But that's yeah. before I had the the um, diamonds. <laughs> the diamonds. The rubies. Uh, the right? rubies yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so that must have been the craziest feeling ever. Because Straight here up. you are, a skateboarder. You were just on Globe, eight thousand months, which is nothing to laugh at, right? But here you are, man, with this. Mm -hmm. Okay, couple Matt, of, a few million dollar yeah. deal. Yeah. Were you tripping? Were you like, "Whoa, this um, is crazy, bro"? Yeah. I'm about to. I'm about to. I want. I want to dive honest. in. I want to be honest. Like, go ahead. I don't really spend much money. I really don't. Like, I. I mean, I buy real estate and like, I own a lot of property. Okay. Right. Twenty twenty properties, and then you know, yeah. I invest, I invest a lot of different things, right? But I don't spend money. Okay. So for me, like, even like when I was making ten thousand dollars a month, it wasn't like a huge deal because I like I don't I only spend like I don't really spend you're that. Saving you, you're you, saving it. Yeah. You got well, your car. I, you got your well, house. Well, eventually, like I I had a lot of money in the bank account, and then Chet's like, dude, you got to open an S corp. Then I learned more yeah, about bro, business. I'm telling you, but, but, but for to get a multi million dollar was, deal, yeah, you, dude, I was hyped. I was like, well, we 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 we'll probably be set up for eh, for, for life for yeah. Probably. I mean, bro, if you play your cards which, right, which is which we did. Yeah. I mean, yeah. I mean. As long as uh, I'm just looking at this video, yeah. I mean, we're going through all these designs and stuff. It, it, it could have been a very successful program. The thing is, um, David's dad was getting older, Stephen Nichols, right? And they were looking at selling the company. So, three and a half, right as this shoe uh, got designed, it was about to come out, and we were about to sign some other top skaters, right? It was like, yep, we're selling the company. So, the new owners came in and they weren't. Like, well, what's up with this deal we have with Lutzka? Uh, and then, you know, they they didn't have the same vision of going down skateboarding, right. which is so weird because that same company that came in to to buy out K-Swiss ended up buying like Angel's company, which is super in crew. Hmm. The same, the same, the same, the same plate. You know what I mean? Right. So it's, it's like kind of they crazy. are getting into skateboarding because right. they're buying these companies. I know, but now you don't see crew and super right. anywhere which is kind of weird it's almost like they shelved it or whatever but you never know what um, sometimes they do these, these i saw today so, on antoine dixon's instagram post he tagged crew did official he? on it did uh, he so yeah I was like, maybe there's maybe a back? maybe yeah i wonder if dennis I, martin's still working i know he was working on another shoe thing with ellington or he has it in his profile that, bro. he has it in his profile yeah, yeah, yeah. so yeah. they sell yeah. so so they sell the company um, and now you're, so I gotta, you're in limbo I, no i got a buyout because because I'm like three and a half years in, so like they they had to buy me out of my plus the five year extension the buy no. or what was no this? Okay. no that the five year extension was only if the thing was gonna you know what I mean? so you cracking. got if it was on a crack and then they get that so you got yeah. paid your full amount which which was the contract that was a few plus million dollars it was great yeah I mean yeah but but at that point um, the same time I think it was like twenty seven twenty eight my rockstar deal was coming up so i did like i said I did six years at monster energy drink uh -huh. left monster to work with rockstar because rockstar my good friend steve mateus was there that used to be the team manager over at uh, vestel watches and i and me and steve has always been really good friends and he's like dude we're gonna work together one day so i worked with them for three years and i had a three-year extension so we were coming on like that extension he's like dude like you know we need to bring in some younger talent right i was like 28 so I was like, all right. He's like, you can either take a big pay cut or like, we're going to take some of your pay and, you know, obviously divide it through other skateboarders. Right. And I was like, all right, cool. Uh, so he gave me a good heads up of almost a year before it was happening. And then, you know, I, 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 uh, I think at that time, like I was drinking a lot of water, which I love aqua hydrate water. water. water good, yeah. And, um, I did notice that like being sponsored by a company, 
was uh, was always going to end at one point mm -hmm. so that this company instead of negotiating um you know pay or sponsorship i, I got ownership in, wow. which is really which is wow, really nice dude. so yeah so That's if they if, aqua hydrates no it's yeah. a big company yeah yeah, yeah mark it's a, Wahlberg. It, mark Wahlberg, yeah. p diddy there's a um, lot of celebrities yeah yeah so yeah. um and th this was like i've been with them over six years now they're a sponsor of the new tv show i created with fuel and mm -hmm. um mm -hmm. they've definitely built a, an amazing brand but th like i signed with them years ago you know and like to me like i i love water i drink water um the energy drinks i think it's just you get older like i, I just i just no, don't wait real quick me, uh, does I don't, aqua hydrate do they sponsor podcasts yeah i know <laughs> we could we could get up i don't know they sponsor my tv show we could get them on the podcast we, need a lot of they would love, hey. we talk a lot yeah man. we need to keep our speaking of aqua hydrate i need some water yeah 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 so let me ask you a question mm -hmm. you have you're 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 we we we, we spoke on this before you're yeah. outside the box when it comes to sponsorships and stuff like that. When KC, um, uh, excuse me, um, when K-Swiss came in, that was a multi-million dollar deal.